everybody, Chris Schaefer for Pots Kid Doors. We're in Eastern Pennsylvania today on Hockendockwa Creek. And guess what, you're going, Hocka what? Well guess what, loaded with a ton of golden rainbows. What's most amazing here is, this is not even early in the season. We're here in almost mid-May right now. This stream has been picked over, but there's a lot of real finicky golden rainbows in here. And we're gonna come out here today and show you even if they're scared, even if they're finicky, even if they don't wanna bite, how to get them to bite. Now, we're on a public stream. We're right in the middle of Northampton. We're real close to Allentown. There's millions of people around here, but we're gonna show you how to catch these goldens even under all that pressure. All right, so it's, it's late in the trout season here in Pennsylvania, and we almost never find golden rainbows this late in the season. Normally, people pick them off right away, but we found a hole that has two golden rainbows in it. And guess what? Wait a minute, wait a minute. He found a third. One there, one there, and there's one up in the top. All right, so we're gonna start off with little pinch shrimp fireballs. Put that bad boy on the hook. We're about to see what happens. All right, first cast, pink shrimp. Pink shrimp fireballs. I'm gonna follow that bobber. I'm gonna see if the golden rainbow comes and gets it. Look at that. Got him. Got him. That's a shot right there. There it is. Oh. We got three more to go. Struck gold, boys. We just walked up to this hole, and I tell you what, it's about 200 yards from where they really stock, and there's three of them in here. And I tell you what, first drift, he was going nuts. Second drift, bobber down. Beautiful little golden. He kind of wants to go home, and uh, we'll see if we can get the other two. All right, we just caught that nice golden on a pink shrimp fireball. Well, I'm going to switch it up a little bit and try a little bit of real egg action. See how these fish like this. Pretty silvery. Alright, we just caught this nice rainbow down here. We just came to a new spot in first drift. Boom. As you see, he was a hungry fella, man. Uh, a lot of people had him hooked. He's got a lot of line in his mouth. I'm gonna cut it a little closer and I'll send him free and hopefully he'll do okay. He's running hard. Yep, I got the net behind you, buddy. This is a really nice fish. I just gotta keep him off that rock. Press the top button when you're ready. Don't do it till he's ready. Okay. Got it, so. 
another golden. Oh, oh let's damn. Go, let's go, let's go. Please don't come off. Don't come off. That's a nice ball. Changed it up with some fire today, buddy. Did you do the fire worm? No, that was just the ball, buddy. Just the ball? Just the ball. It's not like you. Oh, look at this. This guy's got some power to him. Put these all the way over there. You want to know what the best part is? Be Philip Brown. No way. <laughs> you never try that one. I'll bring right from that. I knew we brought your dad for a reason. That man. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're here for the night fight, and I tell you what, you all know I'm an egghead, but I switched up and put some fire bait on. I molded it up like a little pellet. Guess what? He came right up and smacked it, and uh, beautiful little golden. We're gonna send him home and uh, go catch another one, hopefully. All right, as you just seen, I caught that golden on feed pellet brown. Usually I roll him up like a worm, but I'm floating feed pellet brown underneath a float. Split shot closer to my hook because it does float. Now, feet pellet brown is a great color because in the hatchery they feed them pellets. Guess what? It's the color of the pellets. Now, the way I caught that last palomino was I just took a barely little, you know, I'm using those little hooks again. I rolled it up just like that and I made it look like a pellet. And I'm floating it right down the creek. And he came up and just smashed it. You know, I like to run a split shot right above my fire bait because it does float, you know, and that weight will keep that fire bait down towards the bottom and it's giving it that natural drift of bait just flowing down the creek, just like fishing an egg. You can do it with fire bait too and it's very effective. All right, so we're kind of reserving the last golden rainbow for Big Mike. So I got little Mike out here trying to catch, uh, catch us another rainbow. We know that right in front of this rock over here, there's some beautiful, kind of just like that one right there, we're guessing is a rainbow. Oh, he got off too. All right, so Big Mike is gonna get back in the game. We got not one, not two, but three strikes on us. But Big Mike's a legend, he gotta get number four coming next. Four strikes and you're out. I'm giving you Yeah. The cameraman might be coming out of retirement out of this, this next one. Here we go. Big Mike's in the game. We're gonna follow his bobber. We might even see the golden rainbow come and actually grab it from him. See it right there? See it? He's chasing him. Oh man. Oh, Big Mike. Big Mike. <laughs> oh no. No. After four hits, I'm not so sure that one's going to bite again. But we'll see. We're going to try it. It's a little scene holding a lot, a lot of fish and changing up baits. What'd you use? Chartreuse garlic. Eggs or dough bait? Eggs. Oh wow. Probably shines at night. Is it a rainbow? Looks like a rainbow to me. Today's episode of Potsky Outdoors comes to you from Pennsylvania. We spent almost 10 days filming in Pennsylvania here just because it's such a popular place to catch trout. Now, one of the things you got to consider is we're in the middle of the city right now and it's amazing to have a 17 mile watershed here that's a tributary to the Lehigh River. Now this creek gets stocked by private clubs for derbies. It also gets stocked by the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission. You know, it's got rainbows in here. There's some browns in here. Heard of a few brooks too in those ever elusive golden rainbows, which is pretty exciting to come out here and catch those. Even with all the pressure that's here, we've still found a few wooling takers. Now, we started the day during the bright sunlight with Potsky pink shrimp fireballs. Caught one of those right away. Then we switched over to pink shrimp Potsky balls of fire salmon eggs. Caught one right away. Then we went over to natural deluxe and caught one. Then we switched over to feed pellet brown. So, we got five golden rainbows really quickly here, which is pretty exciting for us to do. We also caught a lot of rainbows on those same baits, but we tried to focus on catching mostly these goldens today. So it's been a pretty exciting day for us. Even more exciting to do so right in the heart of town when we first got here. There were several anglers that had tried to catch these fish all morning and midday and couldn't get them. We came in here, changed the baits up, and had a heck of a day catching fish.
Get him, Big Mike. Oh. Doo, doo, doo. Big Mike, you got him. Oh, my God. 